Okay, something you won't find surprising. Visits to indoor shopping malls in the United States this past Black Friday were down more than 14% compared to 2019. So is the model that so many of us grew up with soon to be just a Christmas memory? Ten of your sides, Brett Hall has the state of the malls. This isn't the first time we've looked at the state of malls. I actually did it four years ago, and at that time, the National Mall vacancy rate had just topped out at a five-year high of 9.1%. Today, it's 11.1%. That 2% change, Hampton Roads certainly helped contribute. The number of shopping malls Chopper 10 can fly over are dwindling. Just within the last year, Pembroke Mall closed after 55 years in business. This January, Military Circle Mall will conclude a run nearly as long. That will leave the region, which once boasted nearly a dozen malls, down to five. And Nick Egelanian with SiteWorks Retail says that number will continue to shrink. Somewhere between one and maybe the second will survive. Certainly nothing beyond that. Egelanian says it was the popularity of building retail space that really has done the malls in. He says it outpaced population growth for many years. You know, the typical mall that was built back in the 1970s was built to serve up to 300,000 people. You know, it's going to serve up to 2 million people today. It likely won't surprise you which ones he thinks have a chance of surviving. According to the respective owners' most recent annual reports, Patrick Henry Mall in Newport News has roughly 95% of its space leased. Lynn Haven Mall in Virginia Beach, 97%. Most malls that are out there have debt that's in excess of what they can afford. He says it's smart for all communities to be forward thinking. While both MacArthur Center and Greenbrier Mall are in foreclosure proceedings, local developer Michael Siphon recently bought the former Greenbrier Sears. His attorney says he has no plans for it right now, but hopes to eventually turn it into a more valuable asset. Chesapeake Square has already gone through the foreclosure process. There, Virginia Beach-based Coterides Development tells me demolition of the former Sears, Macy's, J.C. Penney, that could all begin next year to be replaced by two unnamed retailers they're talking to. Rather than efforts to keep them alive, you're looking for groups to come along, along with a you know, really good positive partnership with the cities in which they're in, to redevelop that land into what's best for the community. Now, this is not a fast process. Both MacArthur and Greenbrier could continue to be in foreclosure for several years. But the good news, Egelanian says, is that the era of seeing new dying shopping properties, it's beginning to end. More on wavy.com. Brett Hall, 10 on your side.